Myself and my peers take interest in the decisions you are making as they greatly affect our future, my future. We are currently watching decisions being made that will lead to several issues that will be detrimental in our future. The environment is relevant to every single being, but yet it seems to be at the end of your to-do list. According to the BBC, November 2018, the Trans Mountain Pipeline is your next billion dollar project. Meanwhile, we are learning about these detrimental effects and pipelines, etc., on our environment in school. We are very soon to be voting, and we want to see investments in our future, rather than decisions that create profit and a please short-term goals. Years from now, we will have to deal with these consequences, consequences and your ignorance towards climate change. We do not want to wait for a crisis when we reach 1.5 Celsius threshold. We want decisions to be made now to prevent further damage to the environment. You represent and set an example for our country, to the world, and to your citizens. From our perspective, the government is demonstrating very little concern for the future of everyone. I want to live in a country that protects me and I can further protect. I have dreams to grow up and have a family. And each day that dream seems to become more distant as I fear my family would be raised in an environment severely damaged by climate change. I can easily identify the issue at hand and I can make lifestyle changes to, pres to preserve our resources. But I want the support of my government to make real changes towards a more sustainable future. Thank you very much. So a lot of people have talked about their own future and I think I am very concerned for my own future as well but my primary concern is that of the people around me. For example, I have a 17 year old sister who's going to be starting school at Carleton. Um, so she wants to be a journalist and I want her to have that opportunity. I have two roommates who are also in music and they're one, and one of them is wanting to work in the NICU with, new, with uh, pre-born pre babies, so babies that are born early. And I want these babies to be able to grow in, in a world where they can be safe as well. And all of us have children, have sisters, have siblings, have cousins, have all of those above. And people in positions of power also have those children. So they, those kids also need to have a future as well. So we just all need to really, really, really work hard to help those kids have a future as well. Because like, look around you wherever you go, there are children and you make those connections with kids. I have a music therapy placement and I work with kids who are like grade six to grade five that age and I love those kids more than anything. And I want those kids to grow up and have a future that they can do whatever the hell they want because that's just incredible. Like, I like think of our parents, they have had incredible, incredible careers and they've done so many amazing things. All the different movements that have happened around the world, we can be a part of that movement too. So we just need to make those changes in our own lives. Uh, like, think of all the things you can do. Like, you can just do a quick Google search and it'll tell you what you can do. You can reduce your meat consumption, you can drive less, you can walk, you can bike. For example, I've been vegan my whole life, so I swear it is possible. Please think about it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, just please consider because like I was so nervous to come here but thinking about it like you have I just have to get past that because it's my future and this is everyone that I love's future so I want to do everything that I can to make that something that will happen. Thank you. Thank you so much.